What do you, what do you think it is um, going on right now? There seems to be, an, and, and probably this happens, it's probably cyclical, but there seems to be a, really a resurgence in, in specifically Canadian, Canadian singer-songwriters making it bigger now in the, in the Indian, indie music scene and, and, and rising above that uh, commercial radio or commercial airplay, whatever. whatever. But what, what do you think, what do you attribute that to? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I'm probably, you you're probably have your ear to the ground more than I do these yeah. days. So to be honest, like, I'm, uh, I've, it's hard for me to comment on sort of changes in the, the, the indie music scene because I, I used to be really uh, kind of immersed in it and I had a college radio show for six years and right. I listened to tons of new music and that's all I did, you know, in my early 20s and stuff. And then just kind of the more that I've been in the, the business myself and touring and making my own records, I've admittedly listen to less and less new music so uh, you know I, I have a lot of friends that are musicians and so right. I'm always kind of up on what they're up to but I don't know I mean I think can't, there's always been uh, you know a, a strong singer-songwriter tradition in Canada it's our you know people like it, it, despite the fact they've lived in the US for a long time people like Neil Young and Joni Mitchell and, and Robbie Robertson and stuff you know they they are kind of our they're heroes, you know, to a lot of Canadian musicians, and they are Canada's real contribution to popular music in the 20th century. So I think that that tradition is just is always going to be strong, you know, of people who write songs that uh, where the lyrics really matter, and you know, you want people to hear the lyrics, and it's and there's just there's a timelessness to it. I think, you know, um, one of those Canadian mus musicians that. Um is, is doing a great job in the indie music scene is your sister Jill Barber, and she joins you on While Away. Is that weird that uh, your sister, you have your sister singing on a track with you, or, or, or have you done that before? Have you collaborated before with her? Uh, yeah, we, I, Jill's been on basically every one of my albums. I think uh, I, I always try to get her on right. one, one or two songs. Uh, so, you know, I mean that's that's not a new thing, uh, you know, and. Conversely, I usually pop up somewhere on right. her albums too. So I mean, it's, I think it's just it's something like it, it's just a nice thing to be able to have my sister right. sing on the record, you know. And she's a great singer, and she, you know, I I know she's someone I can call up, and she'll she'll do it in a heartbeat. So, what's haunted hillbilly? It was a, it was a play you wrote, right? Uh, yeah. Well, I didn't actually write the the script, but I wrote the songs. So I, it's it's kind of, it's a musical adaptation of. A book by a guy named Derek McCormick, uh, who's a Toronto-based author, and uh, it's it's a really wacky book. It's a, it's a reimagining of the relationship between Hank Williams and his tailor Nudie Cohn, who made all the famous nudie suits for people like Elvis and you know right uh, all, all the old country guys. And so it's a it's a very it's a, it's a pretty out there kind of dark comedic uh, take on that and some good friends of mine have a theater company in Montreal and they wanted to adapt this for the stage and they wanted it to be kind of a musical uh, and so they they got me on board and yeah it's been a lot of fun we've done it twice now and uh, just finished doing a, like a 14 show run of it in December in Montreal and it was really well received and hopefully we'll be doing it in Toronto uh, wow. this later this summer and then possibly even out west in Alberta We'll see. Uh, got that lonesome feeling on my mind, though. It comes from the soundtrack. Right? Yeah, that, that, that's, that's the one song from the show that I uh, felt like could kind of stand on its own outside of the context of the show. And, and Howie was a fan of it, so we put it on the record. Yeah, definitely. I definitely it conjures up images of Hank Williams, for sure, and, and all those old country guys, right? Bluegrass or, or even... Uh, <coughs> yeah, I, I, I love Hank Williams. Right. Like, he's... I, I kind of discovered him later as well. I mean, I've, I've only, it's only really been in the last four or five years that I've really kind of delved into his music more deeply, and it's just lyrically amazing. And um, he's just such an icon iconic figure that, yeah, I'm a pretty big fan. Uh, the first single on the record is Revolution of the Sun. And, and um, what, what's really? that? Yeah, that's, that's what I've been who? told. <laughs> I don't, I didn't even know there was a single on the record, so uh, I, I don't know. But that's news to me. <laughs> okay, well, what what, what is? Seems like an odd choice for a single, I, I would say, because it's kind of a, a ballad. Yeah. But uh, okay, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> what 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 what's the song about? Um, 
the song is it's hard to say what it's about but it if anything it's i guess it's about just the passage of time and uh it's i wrote it around thanksgiving so it's got a little bit of borrows just some kind of Im lyrical imagery from the idea of thanksgiving and revolution of the sun is just sort of supposed to be like the earth going around the sun like it uh happens every, once a year <laughs> <laughs> and it goes on and on for right. all time and so that's it's and it's so it's sort of a personal thing personal song in the context of just uh you know time introspection uh, yeah i don't know it's i mean it's it's always hard to say what songs are about you know they're, they're about a, a sort of a vague uh sort of cluster of things usually fair enough uh, is there anything that's catching your ear now? I, I, I know that you, you you mentioned earlier on that you don't have as much time to necessarily, or or aren't involved as much with new music. But you have friends, and is there anything that's catching your ear right now that you think people should check out? Oh well, there's ton, there's so much good music, uh, but uh, I don't know. One of my favorite records of the of the last year is by a friend of mine uh, named Afi. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce his last name, but he goes Bahamas. under the name of Bahamas. Yeah. And that, that, that's an amazing record. I mean, it, that you could sort of put in that category of what you were talking about earlier of, you know, it's got a classic soulful singer-songwriter thing to it, but it, it feels very current at the same time, and the, the tunes are awesome. So yeah. I would say people should check that out. Cool. Thanks very much for taking the time to stop by and talk about your new record, and, and now you're going to play, so, so thanks yeah. a lot. Thanks for having me. Cheers.